Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Oli kolmis sormis mai, oli reikä rauta braun. Ja tapahtuma paikana oli Jackson Willie Town. You know, Arthur, it's the illness of romantics. Uh -huh. What is hope? Uh -huh. Hope is. I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. What was it, Nikki? So. Pistänyt komppanien verran miehiä kylmäksi. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. No, I just... Well... Asiat vähän on lähtenyt. You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. But I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. Se on ihan mahdollista. There's always that. Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Mm -hmm. Could be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. No, what am I? Come on, and in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, <laughs> maybe a nice <laughs> stash <laughs> of weapons. It's just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> Tää ei voi päättyä hyvin. Itse asiassa juurikin päättyy niin muuten kuin kuulti. If it's how they told it, it's gonna be something all right. We'll see. Jengi vaan toimii vähän liian avoimesti, niin saattaa tulla tästäkin lähtö sitten. Yep, yep. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you for asking. Yep. Get up, let's go. Come on, it's this way. On me. Cha! You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have <laughs> met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. <laughs> Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... Uh, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Uh-huh. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, well, I guess it can't be That's so easy meaning. for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, 
I guess their gold's still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for <laughs> all they got. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with mm. all of you by my side. Neat. I guess it does. going you're on me now right behind you let's keep our distance just two fellers out on the road those crates in the back they look like explosives to you could be worth the follow at least I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Ah! Keep it steady. Easy there. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them. wall up there. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Thought it got a left. Just a moment. I'll wait on your scent. Skunks. I know dynamite crates when I see them. You got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. So, what are we doing? We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. So, you gonna make a move?
something to get out. Sounds like a plan. Let's search these wagons, okay? Okay, keep a cool head. Black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell. In one of our wagons. We was uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing thing. in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to. <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Mm. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. That's my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. If he wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me, we had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Uh, no, but enough. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. You notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, the camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. <laughs> hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know I wish I wouldn't keep at it. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna like the sound of this. Been cooking since Horseshoe. So you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. Uh -huh. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. 
plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can. Head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, we're going to send Karen so on in and no as a uh, distraction. Then we're just going to rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. Villillä on aika iso toi hevonen. Tell me again about this big can't go so wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can. Once the shooting starts. Well, well that's mutta... reassuring. Joku muu voi like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Need a work. Once she's got him distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man. Kyllä toi pystyy ratsastamaan tuossa mekossa. Hirveet ratsastushalakki on siellä ja... Kymmenen neliöä kangasta niin kun, että... Rypytetty vaan, että voi oikeasti. Kyllähän se voi, siis sillä voi ratsastaa, jos se nostaa sen mekon ylös, mutta... Mutta niin, niin, tommonen, että menee hevosen läpi, niin ei oikein Okei, on sitä vähän nostettu, ehkä tätä mun hevonen. Antiklimaattinen hetki kyllä. Eräs päällä on oikea reitti. So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Yep. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. 
I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that, and you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this then. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. And I ain't sure even that. Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Coming past. Is here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the don't get the lay off on me. I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. 
We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. <sighs> now you shut the hell up and be still. Dynamiitit ja sitten niinku pysytytään ne kedulle. We need to get out of here. Going as fast as I can. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company. Sorry, partner. I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know. Give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What, are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry. That's <laughs> what?
patsaita kiväärillä. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Let's get a one rahat fiati. Tämä nyt liittyy juoneen sitten. Tietysti tuossa nyt esitellään tuota noin, että siis Arturi ei välttämättä edes näytely hirveästi tuossa. Välttämättä hirveästi kiinnosta, kun se pistää porukkaa kylmäksi. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Running off to Como Driscoll. Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very everyone. funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho ho! Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> uh. I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right then. Grab your horse and let's go. Let's get. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now where's this spot? 
Uh, not much further. This is the place. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. For sure, looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of blue and bass over here. Kyllä. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Hey, be careful. I don't want to hook you, Arthur. You get many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellers a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Cast a line then, Arthur. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Uh, is that why you like this spot? <laughs> My lord. <laughs> hey, somebody needs to go to confession. Hey, I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. <laughs> why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. You we here for some to. fishing? You haven't scared them all away, have you? Oh, just so you fellers know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Uh huh. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. But come on, let's go. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. Mm -hmm. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Uh huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. What are you waiting for? Legendaarinen kalastuspaikka. You won't catch much if you don't cast a line. No joo joo. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Kole Rangwala. Like I was real young. After that I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now you'll never be alone again. Mä 
回してねちょっと。Lähempänä rantaa kiinni. Niin. No, that's not it. Catch and release. Did me right. Of course. Did they ask uh, anything about us? No. It was just uh, locals, a local problem. A fella I used to know. Okay. Well, would you please try to keep away from old people while we're getting this much attention? I understand, boss. And I'm sorry for being yeah, foolish. You might have to that it was an old Mr. thing, Morgan. and my emotions got the better of me. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. If they made it, they must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? 
I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. <laughs> These are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Pelata mon molempia puolia toisia vasta. little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's at the house. Martia, Pashmuka. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Lady of the house. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it oh relax I ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough <laughs> why not do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. Her mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Gentlemen! 
Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys... How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have more business. A gift. Bounty. Tätä ei ole lain tarkoitus. Siinä lähtee viinaa mukaan. Täällä on hauskaa. Tää kyllä sanoo yhtään ryypätyä. Is it that suit the hostage? Let's go. 
No, ainakin toi pitää roolia yllä. Ne varmaan pisti nää niinku vähän tarkoituksella liemeen. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Uh huh. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Hauska toi vanha ajekla. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. <laughs> you sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. <laughs> Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we yeah. need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them... Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Where well, oh. the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, 
and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Yeah. <laughs> payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Sen isä kuoli sodassa. 